guys, Jango here, and this is a first look at another Quality Mod Pack 2 on Fabric 119. It's an old pack, but it's recently updated to 119. So we're taking a first look at that. As you can see, I am only about 12 inches tall. That's because this pack has Origins in it, and I chose an Inchling, and I'll explain why in a second. I'll put up on the screen here, scrolling through the different Origins in this pack. You should take a good look at it yourself. I always spend like an hour trying to decide. An important thing to remember, though, or, or realize, though, is that you can change your Origin. Um, or at any point, you get one Origin change uh, early on. And you can actually craft a thing that will allow you to change your origin with this orb of origin right here. But it's expensive. It has it's another star, and these things I don't even know what they are. Uh, so you're going to be able to change your origin later game. So it's not that much pressure to choose uh, an origin right from the start. Here we are, brand new world, fresh morning. And we'll take a look at Zero's map to see where we should head. Maybe maybe we'll head up north to that plane for a place to, to live. And while we do, let's take a look at what this pack has in it. It is loaded. It's a fabric pack. And it has, I don't know, I think just about every fabric mod there is. Oh. I'm an inchling. I can climb. I can climb walls. So that's pretty cool. And I take no fall damage. So that's the benefit of an Inchling. The downside is I have half health. Um, I don't think I would be able to outrun mobs if there's any stairs to go up because I can't jump up. I have to climb. So we're going to have to avoid darkness and nighttime. There's a ton of mobs. There's a ton of world gen. It, this has all the biomes you'll go. There's an interesting thing up there, a circle. So lots of world gen, a ton of mobs, a ton of structures, so much exploring to do. It, it's loaded with uh, technology mods. Pretty much all of the technology mods that are available. Why do I see that? What kind of buff did I get that I can that I can see that there's an iron golem up ahead? That's strange. Is that part of being an inchling? I don't know. I found a mine cells portal. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, up ahead here is an, a golem underground and some villagers. An underground village. Oh, it must be the Stoneholm mod, which adds an underground village. So that's pretty cool. Now, I don't take fall damage, so I can just jump. I don't know why this guy's got spectral on it. it. Seems to just be a condition. It has nothing to do with me. Um, and, and here we are in a underground village. A ton of chests and stuff. Before we start looting, let's talk a little bit more about what's in here. Again, a ton of tech. Modern industrialization, modern dynamics, tech reborn, create. Um, it's got a ton of storage stuff, dank storage. In this, which is backpacks, Tom Simple Storage, Applied Energistics. That's one of the first things I look for is some sort of storage organization in a mod pack that I'm playing. Um, again, a ton of mobs, a ton of uh, food additions. Croptopia is in here. A bunch of magic stuff, Batania. Um, Hex, which I'm not familiar with, but I saw that achievement. There is a quest book. So... You're going to want to take a look at the quest book. I'm not going to go too depth in here, but this first screen, this you, you go over here. There's a starting out section and a start here. This is going to give you a hint about all the different things that are available. Not even all of them. There's so much. I think this quest book is relatively new, and they're probably developing it more. Um, but what they've done, and you see this gobber thing, is right front and center. Um, and it says... They've modified a bunch of recipes to require gobber, which is going to um, kind of gate our progression through the pack. So first thing, we're going to need to find some gobber. Another thing we need to keep in mind is that it's got the Spelunkery mod in here. That's relatively new. And 
you need to polish rough ores after you mine them. So we're going to see that hopefully soon. Let's grab this free house. And there's just, there's so much to go through. I'm not going to go through it. Um, it will spend the entire video doing that. Um, another thing I wanted to point out is that in options, video settings, there are shaders in here and they're pre-installed. I didn't install any of these things. I like complimentary reimagined. So let's turn that on. There we go. So play around with that um, and see and see what you like there. Let's also turn up the brightness so the video is good while we're in here. Um, it's got sodium and iris in here, um, shader and video performance mods. Here we go. That looks. That looks nice. Let's see if we can get some good stuff early on here. Grab what we can out of these chests. Don't want to spend a ton of time looting. Maybe we can find a pickaxe or something. Well, it's not the best stuff. These are uh, glow sticks that you can throw. They come from the Spelunkery, the Spelunkery mod. Okay, you guys don't have the best loot. Oh, wow. What in the world? That's incredible. All right, maybe we'll start our mining operations from down here. That's crazy. Let's borrow someone's bed before we head back up. Let's go set up house. I don't even need a ladder. And I've got this like fast climb ability here. That's kind of, kind of strange. All right, so this seems like a reasonable place to set up home. What is this thing? This might be from the... Chalk, from the Choco Craft mod. Never heard of it. So much to learn in this pack. Okay, let's set up our own base right over here. Can find a, just a little bit of a flat spot. Can't see anything. All right, let's do it right here. And we've got this house blueprint. Let's just put it down right here. And there's all kinds of house styles. Uh, just scroll through it, check it out. I'm just going to build a basic house. And there we go. We've got... We've got a place to live. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff in... It. Just that chest? Some good starting loot. So that's nice. Let's ditch some stuff we don't need. And let's pick up some food. We don't need that stuff. Oh, this is perfect. Um, don't need a hoe. Oh, this armor. And now let's take a, a look at the quests. So here we have here, find Gobber Globets as the big front and center quest. They've changed a lot of recipes in this pack to require Gobber materials, which is gonna gate us, uh, gate our progression. Uh, but there's so much to go through here. Be sure to check those things out. Uh, here's where we're going to get rough diamonds and rough lapis, and we we need to polish them to turn them into their, their regular things. So we're going to get started in the Spelunkery mod there, Teeny Coal, lots of different things, backpacks. We want to get started with Dank. So we need coal and a barrel, so that's easy. Let's prioritize getting underground, getting some gobber, getting some coal, uh, so we can get our, our danks set up. Before we head down, let's find some wood. We'll break a tree. Why am I getting magenta planks? Wow. 
What kind of tree is this even? I don't, I don't get this. Well, hopefully they work like planks. Okay, they do. Make an axe. I have cobblestone. I did not need to make a wooden axe. It's tough being a foot tall, I'll tell you that. Oh, the glow stick lights things up in with shaders on. All right, let's make a stone axe. Of course, of course it's raining. Always rains when I'm trying to make a video. Oh, and we have some sort of whole tree cutting going on here. All I have to do is cut the bottom log and the tree drops down. So that's pretty nice. Okay, we've got some spruce. There's some more. I'm so short, I can't find anything. Let's head back to our house. Whoa! Okay. We want... We want coal. So here it is. Things just kind of... Maybe because I'm so short, I'm not picking things up easily. If we can get enough coal, we can make a tank pretty quickly here. I think we did it. We're there. Oh, don't look at you. Not oh, and a skeleton. Okay. That's enough. It's enough of that. We got what we needed. And we'll head down to the south to the safety of our house. Here's a mystical gray flower from Batania. Tanya is maybe my all-time favorite mod. Okay, let's make a dank storage. We make a, a dank one. And we can make that with need some slabs. And we have a dank. And the way this works it holds here it is it holds um one row up to 256 items in a stack so if we're mining and finding all kinds of stuff we can use the dank to store these things and we can set it up for uh, compressing pickup mode pick pick up everything picks up filtered stuff so it'll only pick up cobblestone it'll void if we have more than what a stack can hold so we'll do pick up all to see how this works. So if we go and break some stuff, we're getting some things here. And now if we take a look in here, it picked up these seeds that, that we broke, but we can also just put stuff in here. So that's going to be useful. And if we look at tank storage, there are docks that we can use a black concrete for that that's weird docks that we can use to put the dank in it and then it becomes like a chest or we can connect it to tom simple storage or applied energistics 2 as some storage so it's a really useful thing to take with us especially as we go mining which we're going to do next let's make another pickaxe or two and let's head down let's just dig down here since we can climb walls And we won't fall, we won't take fall damage. Let's dig straight down. Because I can just head straight out of here. We should probably make some torches, even though we have these glow sticks. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so we can just go straight down. Oh, wow. Okay. And I got skewered. <laughs> by a stalactite that I apparently beat to the ground. Okay. Let's see what happens when we die. Is there a grave? Yes, there is. That was unfortunate. I apparently dug right through a stalactite, which fell on my head. So that took us all the way down to negative 15. I thought this was diamond, but it is just, it is appetite ore. I don't know even what that is. 
What have we got here, though? A gold lathe. That looks... That looks good. So these um, glow sticks, I can, like, toss like snowballs. And they will light up automatically where I throw them. So that's nice. Trying not to attract the attention too much of these mobs around me. Let's see what we've got in all these chests. This is a lucky drop. Gold rapier. Okay, let's put some stuff away here that we don't need. Um, we've got a smoker. We can cook this fish. Let's climb up here and take a look around. Hopefully we don't get sniped. Looking for dauber, looking for diamonds. Dauber is kind of blue. There's a lot of ores around. Yeah, he is attacking me. All right. This this rapier is not doing a heck of a lot of damage. It's a zombie villager. I think his... I think his textures were just screwed up. This is the biggest cave I've ever seen. No joke. Or this is my... No, this is a different spot. Come on, diamonds. Okay, let's get ourselves situated, get some iron cooking, and I'll be right back. Okay, I made it back home, and I'm surrounded by terrible mobs. That is terrifying. Okay, let's see what we've got for quests. All right, we made the dank. Anything else? Black concrete. Okay, there's halfway to... I forget what that was that needed concrete oh it was for the uh for the dock so we got some of the black concrete for that and we can upgrade this with once we find some redstone we need a diamond for the portal to activate i have no idea what this is but i feel like we need to try it out so just having a diamond what else what else is going okay there's a cow in our house. We need there to not be a cow in our house. Right, let's go check out that portal. It was back this way. This quest book said it would be activated when I find diamonds. Oh, okay. Here we go. Um. Okay, this doesn't seem like the best place for an inchling. What is that right there? Um, oh, that looks like some some scary mobs. I don't know about this. This glaive does three attack damage. Our axe does nine attack. These things are not very. That's so great. Can they see me? Ah! Wow! Leaping zombie. I don't like leaping zombies. All right, well, we have to go back in to get our stuff, at least. Am I going to be able to get, get those things back from the leaping zombies? This is really cool. Prisoner's quarters. Close this door. Okay. All right, we've got all our stuff back. We have a sword and an axe. A legendary stone axe. Oh, that's pretty great. How did I get that? 
Okay, so if we play the Ginchling Advantage, which means I can stay in one high blocks. They can't get me, right? Yes, okay. This is really cool. Except for these guys. There's one more. All right. We've cleared this. No, we haven't. Okay. From the safety of our home, let's take another look at the quest book. And maybe where should where we should head next. So uh, progress comes in the form of Gobber, the Gobber quest line. Uh, we need to find some Gobber, and then we'll be able to enter this. This, All these storage mods are here. Uh, Tom Simple Storage, uh, this lug, luggage mod, I think. My, I think it's probably U-Haul. I don't know. Um, storage drawers um, and and applied energistics uh, these are all the storage mods uh, in here for now uh, and we'll want to get going into some of those probably Tom simple storage first we've got create which we need to find some sphalerite ore apparently archon which is spells and necromancy and things, uh, random stuff here. These mechs, we can make mechs, robots. That's pretty amazing. There's so much to do. I think this is probably a good place to pause. Uh, there's there's so much there's so much to do in this pack. I don't even know what to do next, and we are reaching um, a good stopping point for this initial first look at another quality mod pack. So let's pause there. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. Are you playing this pack? Do you want to play this pack? Would you like me to do a series on this pack? Let me know. And otherwise, if you like the video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know if we should uh, maybe do some more, more series in this pack. It's, it's pretty massive. Um, and there's a lot of really great cool mods that I have never played before. So we've got a lot of content that we can make here. So that'll do it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I appreciate you.